everyone, it's Michelle from Bella Branch DIY. I hope you're having a great day. Today I have a really cute DIY. It is a bag that has fringe hanging on the bottom, but the fringe is made of raffia. It's a super easy DIY. I think you guys are gonna love it. So let's get started. What you'll need for this project is a macrame or a straw bag, a sorted raffia, comes in all different kinds of colors. Mine's are my picked pink tones. Scissors. An embroidery needle, and this is optional. This bag happens to have big holes, so you won't need the embroidery needle. Now you're gonna take your raffia spools and you're gonna line up all the different colors because it makes it easier this way. And then you're gonna use a ruler and cut about 10 inches long between 10 and 12 inches. Uh, it depends on how you would like it to hang. I pick 10. Then you fold it in half, cut it, and now you have five inch strips. And you're just gonna keep doing this and you're gonna make a big stack of it. This will take a little bit of time. Next, you're gonna take your little raffia, fold it in half with the loop side down, and then you're gonna feed it through one of the areas on your bag. And you wanna face the loop downwards so that when you flip it and pull the two ends through, it'll hang downwards. If you do it the other direction, then the tail is gonna hang upwards, which you don't want. And then you're just gonna keep doing this. I'm not going to lie, this took a little bit of time to do. I think it took probably two hours, but what I did was I downloaded a book from Audible, which Audible is awesome, and it was kind of therapeutic when I was working on this and listening to a story at the same time. And you're just going to keep doing this until you fill the bottom. I did it about three inches up from the bottom, and then I just kept filling it in the way that I liked it. Um, and you, should, you can just alter that as you do it, but I think it turned out so cute. Look how full that is on the one side right there. And then I just filled in the rest of it. And then it looks awesome. I hope you guys love today's DIY. I think it turned out great. I wanna know what you guys think. Be sure to comment and let me know. And also be sure to let me know if you make this project and what you did with it because there's so many different variations and so many different bags that you can do this to. If you're not already subscribed, be sure to subscribe and click the bell so you're alerted of new DIYs. And I've also put um, a link in the description for all the supplies that I use. So I hope you guys have an awesome day and until next time, bye.